I got it. It's a beautiful thing. I don't think we brought it up in Science Corner before, but apparently there was a giant thorium deposit discovered in Inner Mongolia that has enough thorium to effectively power the entirety of China for 60,000 years. It was made by the Bayan Obo Mining Complex. It's a million ton reserve in Inner Mongolia. And so thorium is much more abundant in the Earth's crust than uranium, which is what we've historically used for fission reactors and what we use today for all of the even new generation nuclear fission reactors. And for a long time, folks have talked about building a thorium reactor. There's a lot of challenges with building a thorium reactor. It's a new set of systems. But if you build a molten salt thorium reactor, you can ultimately produce energy in a way that doesn't actually have the risk of a meltdown. It can passively shut itself down. It's not high pressure, so it can't explode. So it's technically a much safer, much more reliable way of producing power with a much more abundant fuel source. And people in the US have been talking about building these thorium molten salt reactors for decades. In fact, in 2009, the US Geological Survey in the United States went out and did a study to identify how much thorium existed just in the continental North American region. Turns out the US has about 64,000 tons. Canada has 172,000 tons of thorium reserves. And China just discovered a million tons in this, in this one region. But the amount of thorium that we have in the United States is enough to power our country for centuries. So in China, turns out they built a molten salt reactor. This was another secret. They've been operating it now for some time. Last June, while the reactor was running, they replaced the fuel. So it basically showed continuous use of the reactor without needing to do a shutdown and refueling cycle. It's a two megawatt experimental unit, and they're actually building and planning to take live a 10 megawatt unit by 2030. So this was all shared in a private meeting. It got out. The discovery in Inner Mongolia was also kept confidential for, I think, nearly two years. And then <laughs> wow. it got reported out. And after it got reported out, it was confirmed ultimately in a government meeting. And that, that's how we know about it now. But I think this just is at this an, another kind of critical point about this. Once China gets this 2 and 10 megawatt system running, this allows for very small, very modular nuclear reactors using a very abundant fuel source that can be quickly built, stood up, and safely operated in a distributed way. You don't need to have one gigawatt, which is a thousand megawatt station running centrally, 